because of the way they eat, they eat the cow dung and also the way they get their water. And this person said that. That may be the case, but look, this is not about endangered species. And isn't it amazing? They'll draw down on men, women, and children. They'll zap everybody with uh, tasers. They'll arrest little kids for making a, a signal of a gun or drawing a gun. They'll do all this stuff, but somehow we're supposed to believe that all this Bravo Sierra about a desert tortoise? These guys, and even the BLM, has killed literally thousands of invasive species. So here's what's going on. Bottom line, ladies and gentlemen, the federal law enforcement as well as the military is being trained that the enemy is no longer foreign, it's domestic. The enemy is no longer one with guns but ideas. This is the most dangerous time in, in our country's history. And, and Solomon in Proverbs said, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Jesus said, hey, if it weren't for him acting on behalf of his love for his people, the believers, that there'd be no flesh left alive. So what we're seeing, Alex, is a global setup, the global, literally, the showdown and the rundown, the showdown between the powers of good and evil and the powers of uh, the elite over the average person. You and I have quoted, you've written books, you've, you've basically have done your films on it. We can give a thousand quotes, yet people look to each other and say, who are those guys talking about? That everybody's got to die except them. So what's, where we're at right now is, you know, 20 years ago, people couldn't accept the fact when I wrote the book Genetic Armageddon that they really had a plan, they really had a scheme, they really had a program, they really had a funding budget to introduce their idea of the perfect man. Same thing uh, Hitler was looking at and others, the Ubermensch, the Superman, the Overcomer. Now we've got genetic engineering and we've got in playing out before our eyes is what's going on in the Nevada desert important? It absolutely is. What you're seeing, ladies and gentlemen, is the blueprint in the face of anybody who believes that word freedom. And what's going to happen, it's going to escalate. They'll bring someone in outside of a miracle, Alex, and I believe in miracles, but they'll bring someone in to stir the pot. A gun will get fired, somebody will get shot, and then it's going to escalate. They want it. All those billions of rounds of ammunition, all those armored vehicles. You probably saw the story carried, I think, on, on a town of 7,000 being given a half a million dollar armored fighting vehicle. So ladies and gentlemen, where's the disconnect? Now Alex, I'm going to give it right back to you. Where is the disconnect between what's going on and people not understanding that they are the target? The military has been taken apart. I live in Montana. Our missile wings have been decimated. Uh, people don't know this. The nuclear command structure has been restructured. All the atomic weapons are pretty much under the president's uh, uh, direct control. And the point is now is that Seeing that we've made the announcement, or the announcement was made yesterday or the day before, that 50 more warheads are going to be taken offline. But here's the thing, Alex. I maintain that what we're currently seeing in Washington is a surrendered government de facto giving away all that we once were, and obviously all the lies, all the schemes, fast and furious. You want to know what I'm saying? Go look at uh, the Drudge Report right now. Maybe you can bring it up or have your guys bring it up. But look at the eyes. You know, the Bible says the eyes are the windows to the soul. I think the title is uh, Holder Loses It. But what happ what's happening is people don't understand that the word freedom, the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, all of our founding fathers, what do we hear? That they're terrorists? Ladies and gentlemen, this is what's going on. This is the plan to destroy every man, woman, and child in the United States of America. For that, Alex, I'm called an extremist. But I'll tell you what, I don't have to apologize anymore because it's playing out. And if I'm fighting for their lives, I, I pray and literally pray that people will uh, wake up and put as much value into their lives, their wives' lives, and their children and grandchildren's lives that you and I and others who have been out there. And look, we've been at it a long time, okay? I hate to admit it, but I've been at it a long time. But it still doesn't seem like the majority is getting it. Everybody That's right, and a lot of fools say, oh, well, all this stuff didn't come true. A lot of it has. That's because a lot of people have been holding it back. We've been holding it back, but now 
now they've already gotten it in, in pieces. Now they're trying to get everything in a rush at once. Is that because they're behind schedule, Steve Quayle? Is that because they know Loris Lerner just was held in contempt? Is that why Eric Holder, as you just mentioned, just snapped and called Congress unprecedented, unwarranted, and ugly and divisive? Is that why they're calling it racist if we don't turn our guns in? Because the, because the criminals realize we're awake to them? Oh, absolutely. And, and the, the, here's the thing, and this is the, the number one point. Look at everything that centers around guns. You've, you've cataloged, you've absolutely gone into detail on 9-11, on the false flags of Sandy Hook, on all of these events, everybody that snaps. And you notice they even came out and said, hey, the guy, the last shooter was on uh, Prozac, you know, and they're, they're some mind-altering drug. And the thing is, they never take on the pharmaceutical companies. And one of the signs, Alex, of the end of the age and the destruction of the United States, in my opinion, is neither repented they of their sorceries. That word sorceries is pharmaceuticals. So what do we have now? We have a system of, quote, basically assisted suicide in the medical community coming up. We've got the arguments that never should have been uh, even poised in the first place. And uh, I just listened, obviously, to what you put in the background when we went to that break. Stay there. Stay there. I'm going to come right back to you. Got to break again. I want to hear where you think it's all going. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money time and your family food supply choose 100 pure heirloom seeds in the survival seed vault from mypatriotsupply.com why spend more the survival seed vault from mypatriotsupply.com is only 37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure hardy easy to grow heirloom seeds yes only 37.95 that's 70 percent less than our competitors you could buy three survival seed vaults for less than one of theirs the survival seed vault from mypatriotsupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ship same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you. Passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now. 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the survival seed vault at MyPatriotSupply.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield Nascent Iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield Nascent Iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Folks, it's cognitive dissonance. 
There's a lot of psychological terms we can go through here, but I don't want to spend that much time on it. People understand we've been incrementally taught to be slaves. And now they're just pulling the rug out from under us, and the bureaucrats all think they're in the right. They all literally think the public's a bunch of troublemakers, and they're there protecting us, and darn it, what's wrong with these people? And we're in danger. And the government's so scared, they're spending $189 million per major Social Security Administration building on actual triple canopy groups and other major global mercenary groups. 24 hours a day with snipers on the roof and commandos in cars. They're getting ready for total collapse. Now, if we expose them, they may back off, but we're sitting on a time bomb. Now Obama says, look for major cities to get nuked. I mean, you think I was happy to get the call about missing nukes at Dias, just like they had missing nukes in 2007 that we first reported on, that later got confirmed? Alternative media broke that. We weren't even the ones that broke it. We first reported it big time. I mean, this is above my pay grade. There's nobody who's qualified to deal with this pure evil except God. Steve Quayle, you were trying to get into the Soylent Green clip we played earlier, and then the break interrupted you. But I want you to get into the Ukraine, Russia, uh, Obama statement about you know his main fear is a nuke going off. That's how they'll bring in martial law. Uh, my gut always has said that. Uh, or a bio release. I've had a bunch of family and friends get sick. Some of them die from the mystery airborne stuff. And then I just think Steve Quayle, Steve Quayle kept saying a year ago, get, they're going to release a super. And the Northeast Intelligence Network said, get ready for an airborne uh, thing that's going to kill people in their lungs. And you guys, I know, have real sources. And then people say, oh, no, they don't have sources. That's all made up. Well, hell, your made up sources must have crystal balls then because it just keeps happening. Well, I think the reason it keeps happening is because there's some amazing people out there that want to tell the truth. We tell the truth. And let me share this. You know the heartbreak. You know watching family members die. We just heard that they're going to spray rabies vaccine in certain parts of the country. Then you've always uh, heard that the rabies vaccine, uh, rabies, forgive me, the pathogen rabies will ultimately be used in some form of zombie virus. And Alex, right now, one of the stories that people should just be absolutely, this is the clearest neon sign that the regular military plans to make war against the United States citizens is, is that the Army has told uh, the National Guard that they've got to return their Apache attack helicopters, you know, to the, and they'll supposedly give them Blackhawks. And as one of the guys said, I agree with you, Sally, said, for budget reasons, my ass, I'm quoting someone else, it's to take away any resistance that could be even thought to uh, be encompassed. These guys think in, in multi-dimensions. They got so many plans and battle plans. And Alex, you and I are, are doing what we're doing. And those who are doing uh, what they're doing, your listeners, the activists, everybody out there. But we're against supercomputers. And one time I was praying about that. And I said, Lord, how do I compete with supercomputers? And he said, they can't compute me. That's why I, I press. And, you know, I got a lot of flack. People say, quit talking about Jesus. I said, if I quit talking about Jesus, all the information that I've, I've gotten through prayer and through my relationship with him and the people that love him wouldn't be out there. So, look, I don't make any apologies for it. And, and the thing is, is that we're the, we're the group of people now, as Christians, being slaughtered around the world. The megachurches aren't, aren't complaining. They're not raising funds to feed the Syrians. And one of the clearest signs, Alex, I said this 23 years ago on talk radio, I said, you'll know you're in the end when beheadings and cannibalism comes into the common daily. And now, and now baby parts are in the cosmetics. It's in the Pepsi. Stay there. Incredible. Back in 60 seconds. Steve Coyle. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding and making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. It is more important than ever to realize 
realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the Info War to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM.